This is a tutorial for Dex Science Set 4.3. Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be building a simple electrical circuit using material from the compartment B4.4.2.2. This is an activity under forces and energy. To build a simple electrical circuit, we are going to need our power source, which we are going to use our battery holder to get. We're also going to need a switch, some connecting wires, and other electronic components that will help our circuit function well. So let's build our electrical circuit. The only thing that you will need that has not come with the sign set is a pair of AA batteries. Now we're going to put these batteries into our battery holder. We're going to remove the wires from the battery holder. Okay, so you might find that especially the black wire may be tangled in the spring. And in order to remove that, just gently push the wire down the spring through the other side and then take it out. Okay? So we're going to put the battery in there. Each of these batteries produces 1.5 volts. Each of these batteries produces 1.5 volts. So we need to combine them to create three volts, which will be enough to turn on our LEDs. So the next thing we're going to do is to combine our batteries together. Now each of these batteries produces 1.5 volts, but we need more than that to turn on any of the LEDs. And so we need to combine them together. And what way do you connect batteries such that their voltages add up? It's called a series connection. And how do we do a series connection? We connect the positive end of one battery to the negative end of the other. So every battery has two terminals, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Okay. You can see the plus sign here and then the minus sign here. And usually, the positive side of any dry cell or battery has a red wire connected to it. Red wire connected to the positive side of the dry cell or battery. And on the negative end, you get the black wire. On the negative end, you get a black wire. So, in order to com connect the positive end of one to the negative end of the other, you are simply going to use these two wires. So as you can see, the red wire has a piece of metal, and then the black wire here has a space that will enable you to connect the red wire. So all you simply do is connect this way simple so now we've connected our battery in series the positive end of one is connected to the negative end of the other red wire connected to black wire make sure you don't connect these ends do not connect these ends only connect this side okay the next thing we are going to do in our electrical circuit is to introduce our switch so we have our switch here, you can open and close. Okay, so we are going to put that into our circuit. You see that there are some 
headers here that will allow you to connect to the component okay so we're going to go ahead and then connect like this very simple each component has these headers that enable you to do this connection very easily now that we've connected our switch the next thing we're going to do is to connect our LED so this is a light our light emitting diode that's the LED so we are going to connect that now note the symbol of the light emitting diode it's an arrow pointing in a particular direction it's very important that you take note of this because a light emitting diode allows electrical circuit to flow in only one direction and so make sure you take note of the direction that you connect this component in okay now for a light emitting diode this side connects to the positive end of your battery and then this side connects to the negative end of the battery always know the direction of the arrow this side connects to the positive side of your battery and this side connects to the negative end of your battery okay so this is the positive end of our battery all right so we're going to turn it this way to make sure that we are connecting the positive end okay now you're going to go and take one wire like this and just like we did our earlier connection we are going to connect it here okay note that the lead on this red wire does not have the metal and so you can't connect it to this component and so that is why you need the male to male wire so that you can do the connection okay now once we are done with that then you can connect now to your led okay so positive connected to that end of the LED. okay our circuit is coming together nicely so far we have the positive end of one battery connected to the negative end of the other this is called a series connection and this will add the voltages together then we have the positive end here connected to the positive end of our led and then we have this negative end here connected to our switch now we need to combine these together but before we do there is this component here called a resistor we are going to learn about the function of this component in another video but for now just note that this resistor is going to help protect the led from too much current passing through it and so we're going to put the resistor over here we go and take some more wires because we have two of this kind of header here so we need a wire with two metals so that we can connect so we connect this one here connect this one here and then now we can finally connect our last two headers together which connects our resistor to the switch we're going to get some more wire connect here and then we connect here now when you're done with everything your circuit should look like this you have your battery you have your LED you have a resistor and you have a switch but you see there's nothing happening that is because our switch is opened and an open switch does not allow current to flow through the circuit so in order to allow current to flow through the circuit we need to close the switch 
So if I close the switch, voila, there we have it. Our LED is on, nice and bright, because current is flowing through the circuit. Let's go ahead and look at some things that might be going wrong in your circuit, in case your LED is not coming on now. First, check to make sure all of your connectors are well connected. If something is not connected properly, it's possible that your LED will not come on. So make sure that all your connections are done properly. The next thing to make sure is that you have not connected the positive end of one of the battery to the positive of the other. It should always be positive to negative. So make sure you've connected the battery well. Look for the sign on the battery and make sure you've connected positive to negative. Okay? The next thing you can take note of is your LED. So if your LED is connected in the reverse bias direction, that is the negative end is connected to the positive end of the battery. No matter what state your switch is in, the LED will not turn on. Okay? The LED will not turn on. But if you connect it in the forward bias direction, where the positive side of the LED is connected to the positive side of the battery, then your LED will come on if your switch is closed. Okay, so if I open the switch, the LED goes off. If I close the switch, the LED comes on. Very simple. So this is a simple electrical circuit where we have our source of power. Battery is connected in series, connecting to our LED, a resistor, another component that is helping to protect our LED from too much current and then a switch that we are using to turn our LED on and off. The function of a resistor will be looked at more detailed in another video, but for now, note that it is reducing the amount of current flowing through the LED. Let's try this LED as well. A different color LED. Good. That extra wires here in case you need to connect your circuit in any other way. So by understanding simple electrical circuits like this one, we are beginning the journey of understanding how some of the amazing appliances in our homes work. From your TV to your fridges, to your ions, most of these appliances have simple electrical circuits like this that help it to function. There are switches in some of them, there are bulbs in some of them. This is the beginning of an exciting journey into understanding how some of the amazing gadgets we use in our everyday lives work. Some of the amazing gadgets we use in our everyday lives work. This has been another exciting activity using materials from the Dext sign set 4.3. See you in the next video.